drugs that could keep COVID patients out of the hospital. A drug that could protect high-risk COVID patients. They're called monoclonal antibodies. It could be the difference between having a sore throat and a cough for just a few days or being on a ventilator. Early treatment with anti sars cov 2 monoclonal antibodies can reduce the risk of COVID-19 hospitalization or death by 70 to 85 percent. Monoclonal antibodies are a drug that works by mimicking the body's natural immune response. Governors in certain states that don't favor vaccine mandates are touting this therapy as a lifesaver. Uh, we are the first state to start the uh, treatment centers for monoclonal antibodies. That should have been a bigger plan, a uh, bigger part of this whole response throughout the country from the beginning. Although there's been some controversy around Governor DeSantis and the treatment after the AP reported a top DeSantis donor is a large investor in Regeneron, the company that makes one of these therapies. DeSantis says the criticism is a baseless conspiracy theory. Despite the controversy and the growing political nature of the hype, monoclonal antibodies continue to be vastly underused. They're authorized by the FDA to treat COVID and even prevent it in some circumstances. The people eligible are older than age 65, overweight or obese, or have underlying health conditions like diabetes, heart disease, and compromised immune systems. But less than 30% of them have been treated, according to the CEO of Regeneron. Dr. Adit Gende, who's researching monoclonal antibodies at the University of Colorado School of Medicine, says awareness is a major problem. Patients uh, and the general public haven't generally heard of this treatment. Monoclonal antibodies have to be administered within days of developing COVID symptoms. The treatment has to be given intravenously into the vein or subcutaneously into the skin, often in an infusion center. We watch uh, individuals who receive this treatment for an hour just to make sure to be extra safe that they're not having sides of allergic reaction. But the hassle is well worth it. Dr. Marion Sills, a colleague of Dr. Gende, was diagnosed with a breakthrough case last month. She credits the therapy with a complete 180 in her symptoms. It definitely switched the direction of my infection and really hastened my recovery. UC Health has its own mission control, a virtual healthcare center that actively seeks out high-risk patients in the system who've tested positive to offer them the treatment. So there are providers, there's nurses, there's technicians, there are a number of communication tools, video cameras, et cetera, that can help with this outreach. So it's a very high tech facility. On average, UC Health treats 30 to 35 people a day with monoclonal antibodies. In total, around 2,000 patients since last fall. While incredibly effective, experts stress treatments like this are not our first line of defense. This is not a substitute for vaccinations, correct? That is correct. We cannot think of monoclonal antibodies as a substitute to vaccination. This is a complement. If and when individuals do get sick, we have an effective treatment available for them. The Department of Health and Human Services website has a list of infusion centers across the country where you can get monoclonal antibodies. The most important thing is to act as soon as you have symptoms, because the quicker you get this treatment, the better your outcome will be.